Okay. Welcome back, guys. We're going to do uh, Let's Play Plane Mechanic Simulator once again on this Thursday before we get back into actual flying tomorrow and Saturday. Saturday's going to be a pretty heavy day, but uh, that's going to be a lot of fun. First of all, let me say hello to Ishish. Welcome back to the stream, sir, and thank you for the four months. Very, uh, very kind of you. And uh, Kelsey, how you doing? Good to see you as well. And I think it's like Kramer is here in TeamSpeak, possibly. Hey. There he is. How you doing, Kramer? Good, how are you? Doing well. All right. Well, let's get into it and uh, fix some planes. We do have the Spitfire now. I did play a little bit beyond after we ended uh, the other day because I was having fun with it. And so we have the Spitfire now. So we're not doing the uh, Tiger Moth. We have the Spitfire. How long, how long did it take you to get the Spitfire? Um, I think I had to go through... Let's see. When I got to the next level, the first, if, if when you first start playing, you get to that first level. You don't get the Spitfire there. I can't remember if I had to get it all the way to the next level or if it like came halfway in between. I don't remember exactly. Um, but yeah. So, uh, Spitfire is quite an interesting bird. Uh, the other Tiger Moth was a four-cylinder aircraft. The Spitfire is a twelve-cylinder <laughs> aircraft, V12. And uh, so yeah, so it's uh, quite a bit more to take apart and uh, and and stuff. So and there's some interesting intricacies too. So we'll we'll see some of those today. Uh, uh, Nuclear Three Productions. I'm doing very well. Hope you're doing good as well, sir. Good to have you here. All right, got some bad news today. A lone uh, Fritz managed to sneak up on us and hit me right in the wing spar, which tore off the wing immediately. Luckily, I was able to jump out. Please prepare the new aircraft for tomorrow. So. That aircraft is obviously gone. We're gonna fix this new aircraft up. So we gotta refuel the aircraft, we gotta refuel the oil, refill the coolant, set up the radio. This one is, is pretty tricky, so we'll talk about that one. And harmonize the machine guns, which is a pretty cool process, so. What the, what's happening here? Okay, I just zoomed in, I didn't wanna do that. Did I? What's happening with my controls? It's like my controls are all funny. What's going on here? That should be... I can walk backwards, but I can't walk forwards. I can walk side to side. Why is my W key not working? This is interesting. Alright, stand by. I gotta... <laughs> gotta figure out what's happening here. Uh, move forwards. How did that get set to move forward? I did not do that. That is really goofy. Okay. There we go. <laughs> F6. <laughs> okay, so what's on the what's on the list first? Let's see here. We got to uh, let's refuel the aircraft. That that one's a pretty simple task. We haven't done that with the Spitfire on stream though, so let's uh, show you how that all works. We'll take the ladder, come over here, we'll put the ladder up close to the aircraft. Got to come get the uh, fuel hose, which we learned how to do with the uh, Tiger Moth. And the fuel for this guy is we can actually walk on the wing, which is pretty cool. Uh, but the uh, fuel uh, thing is right here, so we'll undo the fuel cap. All right, Miss, I have a few questions with the Tiger Moth. Okay, go ahead. So when it says fix problem with engine power, where is that usually? <laughs> well, it could be a number of things. So um, it could be in the fueling system, it could be in the air system, it could be in the electrical system. So that's spark. Uh, fuel or air. So carburetor and intake stuff is air. Um, uh, fuel obviously is the fuel pump, and then um, and then uh, uh, what's the last thing I said? And spark. So then the uh, spark plugs. Those are the most common. I mean, it could be you've got a bad piston or piston ring as well. So you may be having to tear down the entire engine, unfortunately, to get that one. So that's always fun taking out those however many screws on the uh, I know. Block. Hey, you think that's bad? Wait till you see what the engine looks like in this sucker. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> All right. Aircraft's fueled up. Pull that out, and we got to put the cap back. There we go. And come down down here. We'll put the fuel hose back. And take the ladder back. Okay. Let's see. What's next? Refill the oil. Okay. So the oil is right here. Oops. Put on the right one here. Man, noisy planes overhead. Good grief. Uh, oil is right here. This is the oil tank cap. 
you can't fill it with this. You have to uh, take this thing off, but you can check it with this. So once we do that, we can hit three. And we see, look at that, there's no oil in it at all. So that's not good. <laughs> so uh, we're going to go ahead and take this thing off. And you, you just hit these little, uh, these little turny button things. And it undoes the cowling here. So we got to go all the way around this sucker. There we go. And off comes the cowling. I'm going to do this real quick just to get away from that oil thing. There we go. All right, so the oil cap is still off. It's right there. So we'll bring over the oil bowser. Check out this engine, though. Isn't this cool? So these are the exhaust ports. They're, they're providing exhaust for two of the cylinders apiece. So there's six on each side. And there's uh, three on the other side as well. I mean, six on the other side as well. But there's cylinder one, two, three, four, five, six. This is the generator right there. Got some kind of a control module of some kind, suppressor. I don't know what that is exactly. It's coming out of the generator, so I'm guessing it's like a voltage regulator or something. All uh, right, I have another question. Yeah, go ahead. What's what about the valve system? Uh, what about it? Like, how would I fix that? Like, what were some of the problems? So it? under well. You don't the what do you mean cause the problem? You talking about replacing the valves or? Yeah. Okay. So to replace the valves in the Tiger Moth, um, you got to pull that bottom, uh, the bottom part of the of the cylinder off, that cover, and the two valves on each cylinder are on the as you're looking at it from the front of the aircraft, they're on your left. The other two are the push rods coming down from the crankshaft. Fourth Doctor, how's it going? Alright, I'll take a look. Alright, let's get the uh, hose from the oil bowser. And we were close enough. There we go. Stick that into the oil spot there. And let's fill up the oil. So I'm taking off the cinder block. And now I'm at like the... You mean cylinder block? Cylinder block, yes. <laughs> if there's a cinder block in your airplane, it's not getting off the ground. <laughs> um, you shouldn't have to take off the entire cylinder block. So there's the the whole cylinder itself. Just the bottom part of that is where the where you get access to the valves. If you take the entire cylinder block a cylinder assembly off, the valves will come with it, and you won't. I don't know if they're noisy for you, but they're super noisy for me. Oh, I found them, I found them. But yeah, so you gotta take off just the bottom part of it. Alright, so we got the oil filled up. Give me the hose from the Bowser. Corey Hackett, how's it going? What's going on, bub? So are we doing FNO tomorrow night? We absolutely are. Uh, it's uh, FNO tomorrow night is uh, LA. So um, we're, uh, we're going to be going to my stomping grounds. We're going to the West Coast. So I don't know what we're uh, what the other airport we're gonna do is, but we're at least gonna be uh, touching LAX at some point. Got to do it. Snoopy and the Red Baron. That's right. Snoopy and the Red Baron. Okay. Um, I don't think there's any reason I need to be in here anymore. We refill the aircraft, refill the oil. Yeah. So we can put this cover back on. So we're gonna do that. Put the cover back on. Put your camel to bed. And we gotta put this guy. What's going on here? They all say fine. I don't know what it is. Did it miss something? Is it? Are you sure it's a valve? Yeah, I'm like using the magnifying tool to see if they needed fixing. Well, no, no, they I mean, valve. well, they they say they say they're fine, but is, are you sure the problem is the valve? That's what I'm asking. Yeah, it says, uh, fix the valve system. Oh, okay. Well, that's weird, then. Um, what they might mean is, as part of the valves, the, um, those rocker deals on the bottom of those things, that would all be part of the valve system, yeah. not just the valve, so. That's what it is. Okay. Why can't I close this? What's going on here? Oh, I know why. <laughs> I need to put the oil cap back on. Let's try to figure out why I can't close the hatch. There we go. Now I can close the hatch. Okay, there we go. Alright, so we've done the oil. We need to do the coolant, too. So this one, you constantly have to refuel the coolant. The coolant on this guy is up here. I should have left the ladder here and did that after I did the fueling, but oh well, living on 
And we're going to go up first. And the coolant door is right here. And we're going to open that coolant tank up. Grab a tank of coolant. Tank of coolant. Wow, the coolant system is completely empty too. So check out how much this is going to take like all three of these tanks. But you got to get it up into that level right there. So you, you click on this thing to tilt it up. And we begin to fill the coolant system up. And that tanks out. We're going to get another one. Throw you over there so I can pick you up again. Oops. And All right, and then one last one. All right. It's engine temperature. Uh, on the Tiger Moth? Yeah. Engine temperature. That's a new one. I don't think I've ever. I never saw that on mine. That's interesting. Um, I don't know. Uh, well, oil, I guess, is the, the if the oil's low, that would that would cause the engine to overheat, because it doesn't have coolant. It's an air-cooled engine, so. Um, so I would think it would have to be oil at that point. There we go, just get it between the lines. And we're all full of coolant. Gonna close the cap there. Put the lid back on, and ba bomb Okay. Alright, we'll move the ladder out of the way. We don't need you now. Okay, now it's going to get fun. So the ra let's do the radio next. That's a fun one. The radio is back here in the back of the Spitfire. And we got to do these two little, or uh, three little guys. So that's the radio right there. you got to pull the shelf out. And then you come around to the front, and we go to tune the radio. So first step tuning the radio, you got to get this signal as high as you can get it by turning the frequency knob. So obviously that's the opposite way. We're going to keep turning until we see that thing bounce up to appropriate level. Whoa, that's pretty good right there. That's not going to get higher than that. All right, now we're listening and trying to get Morse code. So we're going to turn the primary frequency knob. Okay, so we got nothing, so I'm going to move the fine-tune a little bit, and now we're going to go around again and see if we get anything. Whoops, that's not what I want to do. Hit. Actually, I hit the, uh, <laughs> hit the right click. It was the fuel filter. Oh, for the engine cooling? I think so. Oh, you hear that very faint Morse code there? There you go. And so, when it puts your headphones away for you without you clicking anything, then you've done it right. That's, that's the way you know. <laughs> So we're going to put that back, click on the radio shelf, and close that, and there we go. All right, so radio's tuned, coolant's done, radio set up. we got to harmonize the machine guns. This is kind of fun. So what we're going to do is we're going to climb up on the – actually, no, before we do that, we're going to go over here to this box and get the harmonizer – harmonization board out. And when I first did this, the first time I was like, okay, what did I do? Because nothing changed, but it set this guy up out here. If you don't know if you can see that from here, there's a little thing with a bunch of dots on it out there. That is the harmonization board. 
And so we're going to go on to the wing and we're going to harmonize all the machine guns. So we'll start over here on the far side with this guy, which I think we're, there we go. So machine gun number one. And actually, you know what, I just realized we're not going to be able to do that without taking these guys off. So, see these little pieces of tape? These are the gun port patches. They're, they keep the gun ports clear until the guns are fired. They just shoot out through that. So we're going to take those off. So Because we got to see through the gun port. And here comes the loud guys again, apparently. Alright. So now, you open up the breach and we got to... Uh, we gotta remove the ammo belt, so now the harmonization becomes off. Put that little guy in there. And we're now looking through the gun barrel. And we gotta figure out where the heck we... Oh, you know what? I, I missed a step. Sorry. My bad. Whoop, hey, stop it. Yep, I missed a step. We gotta raise up the, uh, the back of the aircraft so it's level. I almost forgot. The first time you do this, it does explain how to do it, so you're not just completely in the dark. <laughs> but it's a little bit of a process that you have to kind of remember to do. Okay, now we can harmonize harmonize the gun. So, okay, so you can see that the gun is pointed in the wrong direction. So we need to get it to um, to that green, the far green, because we're doing the far one over there. So there's the guy. So the way you do this is put your crosshair right on the mark, and then line the barrel up using your movement keys to that circle. And then it'll go away automatically when you when you get it. So then we got to put the ammo back in, close the catch there, and close up the gun. And that's how you harmonize them. So we got to do that for all four on each wing. Take that back, harmonize the gun, and again we'll put it on the yellow this time because that's the next one in. Harmonize the gun. And put the ammo belt back in. Close the gun breech. And there we go. Uh, are we missing something here? Oh, there we go. Whoa. Uh, okay, so we want blue this time. There we go. Well, it looks like I gotta take that top engine cover off. <laughs> Funsies. Yep. I'm actually going to time and see how long it takes. And uh, harmonize, harmonize the gun. Oh! <laughs> That's awesome. I did that one without even lining it up. I just happened to go right there and stop. I am good. Okay, so the left side wing guns are harmonized. We need to put the uh, the gun port patches back. And we'll come over here. We'll take the gun port patches off. And climb up on the wing. There we go. Harmonize the sucker. So now we're on the other side of the board, so we're going to be over here starting with green. There we go. Alright. Take the next one.
And we're in yellow this time. It'll also, by the way, if you look up on that board, um, I can't point to it anyway, but if you see that pattern up there in the corner, um, you've got the, uh, the the board right there, and the, the one you're supposed to line up with is highlighted. So um, that's how you know if you don't, if you forget which gun you're on. <laughs> that's the easy way to figure it out. Da, 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 da. Do you want to guess how long it took? How long? A minute and 45 seconds. This is to do the whole engine or just the, uh, just the, the, top, the top thing? <laughs> this is the right one. Yeah, okay. Alright, all that's left is to put the uh, patches back on and we're good to go. Voila! Let's take the, uh, the jack off here. Set that guy down. And we should be all set to go. Harmonized machine guns, alright. If it tells me the radio is wrong, I'm going to be hurt. Oh, good. Bingo. We're getting close to our uh, next uh, merit up here. Sweet. I wonder what that will give us. I wonder. So, guys, don't forget, uh, Saturday we're going to be doing the uh, special challenge with Captain Tim doing the, uh, uh, the line flying. Uh, so I'll post in Discord tonight the rules that he's given me for that, so you guys can start brushing up on that and see what that's going to be. So just be aware. Intercepted a large group of bombers today. The Hurricanes went straight for them while we dealt with the escort. Scored a few hits on on one of them, and had and he had to run away smoking. Led, lead and number one were shot down, though. Both are in a hospital now. Oh, that sucks. All right, so we got to... Hey, Crypto. Hey. So we gotta replace the gun port patches, we gotta refuel the aircraft, rearm the machine guns, and replace the gun camera tape. Alright. Pew pew. Pew pew indeed, alright. So let's see here. First of all, so see how these how they just blow through those gun port patches like that? Kinda cool. So we'll take those guys off. And we're not, uh, let me just double check, we're not, uh, yeah, we're just rearming them, we're not, uh, so I can put the new patches on now. Alright, and we'll take these guys off. Plops of time by seeing World War II in Israel. Little... Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Kelsey, my my day was pretty good. It was it was actually uh, yeah, it was busy and I didn't get everything done that I wanted to get done, but it was good. It was a, it was an okay day. It's one of those one of those days. Moose needs to paint a BBJ. <laughs> Why? Um, all right. Because we don't have any BBJ paint schemes for the PMTG 737. Uh, so that sounds like your problem. Why don't you paint the BBJ? Because <laughs> I can't paint for. Wait, what do you mean the one we have is really good? On the website, PBG number two. I so, like it's it's how it's designed. I like. Okay, so I can't so I what's? Can't copy that. Uh, well, who's to say I'm gonna be able to copy it? I didn't make it. 
All right, so we Kevin got. Says the author is West Wind Aircraft and Scenery Department. <laughs> well, that just means whoever didn't put their own name it wasn't me. All right, I'll get on the forms. <laughs> all right, it's gonna open up all the gun doors here. Oops, open up the bow. Well, get that Spitfire. Pitch. Yep. Nice. Most things better though. Yeah, well, we're in the British uh, Air Force, so. Uh, you're a Brit now, so you're trying to finger hubs to London. Yeah, exactly. I'm all hoity-toity. Speaking of, I should be a few more paint schemes that should probably be flying. No. But I expect my flights to be more of a not shaping flight just because I'll be using time to study as well. Uh huh. Okay, so we got all those open up. We need to crouch, which is Z. We go under the aircraft here, and we gotta open up the bottom doors. So, lower gun port door. And the ammo boxes. This one. So, here's the two ammo boxes. So, we're gonna take it out. And to do that, there are two guys over here, and one over here. And then the other one is on the exact opposite. There's one over here and two over in the back. There he is. And a slide out. All right. Get this one off. And we'll open up this. And you got to open up this little seaport door for this one so you can get to that little guy. And then we open up that guy. And we do the same thing. We take that out. And get the other one, and we get that guy, and over there. And we've got our ammo boxes, and we can scurry out, stand back up, and same thing over here. Ah. Hey, 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 don't do that. All right, we got our ammo boxes now. We'll scurry out and go to the truck. And we need four boxes of type A and four boxes of type B. <laughs> Crazy person signature. Always necessary. And we'll stick them back in. Alright, close that up. Close that up. Maybe. So that side on the bottom is done. We'll get these ones in here and then we'll go uh, situate all the ammo. Have you picked up the, the expansion yet for the Mad Dog or not yet? No, not yet. Okay. I have one more donation I think I can pick up prepared, so. Yeah, okay, one more needle now. You need, wait, you need one more what? Needle in my arm. One more needle in your arm? I don't understand. I donate plasma. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I have like 220 now, so like one more needle in my arms I can get. How often can like, How often can you do that? Twice a week. Oh, that's cool. Going to get supper, be back in a little bit. All right, Fort Doctor, we'll see you in a bit. What are you, what are you having for Doctor, Fort Doctor? 
I had leftovers. <laughs> yeah, nice. I don't know what I'm gonna have for dinner tonight. I haven't thought that far ahead. I had chicken, chicken alfredo. alfredo. What was that, Kramer? I had chicken alfredo. Ooh, that sounds delicious. We both had alfredo. So that sounds really good, actually. <laughs> Was it with fettuccine or just chicken alfredo? Uh, it was penne, however you say it. Yeah, penne. penne. I like penne out of that cup of shrimp. That's always good. Alright, so you click that, brings the ammo belt in, then close the breech cover and close the gun port. So vicious. I normally like my alfredo with fettuccine, but. Yeah, literally the other yesterday was I cooked a giant while I was doing my taxes. I made a giant thing of uh, fettuccine. I pretty much cooked my whole entire box of fettuccine, <laughs> and then I made a whole entire thing. I, thought I just pretty much dumped in. I mixed in my Alfredo sauce. It was like, okay, this drink not really good. <laughs> I need to finish up my taxes. Funsies, funsies. The perks of being a little kid. Yeah. Yeah, it totally comes hits you in the face. Cool. Uh, I put it up on the page. I think guys wanting someone to make BBJ similar to the older BBJ2 that's available for the PBG 737, 678, and 9. Not really nice I don't think BBJ should have a good Kelsey had a chicken Caesar wrap for dinner. Ish just had burgers. I had leftovers. <laughs> It's right. like that time. I like leftovers. Why make pasta? I like leftovers for like two days. We're gonna have the machine guns. Oh, we gotta do the gun camera tape, and then we'll refuel the aircraft. So the gun camera, right, here is this guy right there. And so the port for that gun camera access door, we gotta take the we'll open up gun camera shell and gun camera tape. And to do this one, you literally just take it out and put it back. You don't have to go get it anywhere. It's kind of goofy, but that's literally all you have to do. I think Kelsey kept it under wraps today. Ha! Funny boy. I know, funny. Looking. Anyway. <laughs> Alright. Let's go ahead. Oh, too far. Ladder in place. Fuel hose. And open the fuel cap. I've taken 90% of the engine out. Time to put it back. Yay. Nice. <laughs> Fuel enough. Just, just for three push rods. <laughs> Have you gotten to the one where they they make you like do the entire plane with a time limit? Uh, maybe. I don't think so. So there was one. They gave me 15 minutes to. Do, basically tear the entire engine apart and put it back together because it was like a valve and something else in there and I don't think I made it I was like there was just like no way it's like the 15 minutes they give you to take that whole thing apart is not enough time I think that might have been one that I just don't want to ask you all, that I just did when I asked you all the questions so oh maybe time could be oh did I no I did not Nope. <laughs> Thank you. Didn't mean to stand on that. I think I left the fuel cap off. Yeah, I did. <laughs> Good job. That would have been bad. Yeah, do a barrel roll and dump all your fuel out. Good, Good job. Proud of you. <laughs> oh. There we go. Alright, so now we'll refuel the aircraft. We got a uh, upgrade. Woohoo! Some fixes that I do, I'm just like too lazy to tear apart the aircraft, so now I'm like back down to like 300. <laughs> Confirm. Alright, let's see if anything changes with our assignments now, or if it's the same thing. Something's rolling around. Uh, well, we're still at a Spitfire. Okay. Defending Wil defended Wilmington from 110s and Stukas. Check the coolant after this one. Also, the prop pitch has a huge lag. See what's wrong with it. All right. 
Fix the problem with the propeller pitch. Replace all the gun port patches. Refuel the coolant. Refuel the aircraft and rearm the machine guns. All right. That's a nice uh, handful of things to do. All right. So let's uh, deal with the propeller first. Me thinks. Actually, you know what? I want this fuel truck gone, so I'm going to do the fuel first. Grab the hose. <laughs> I think it's Steam. Um, like one of the pictures of the game. There's like a, I have no idea what it's called, but it's like a big. I don't know if it has four props, the propellers, but it's something big. Oh, yeah. Well, that would be really cool. If there's like multi-engine something right over here. Okay. We have to do the coolant too, I think? Yeah. So that's refuel the aircraft. Let's do the coolant. Oh, I did that again. Why do I keep walking away before I put that back? <laughs> some coolant in the plane. Alright, so we're not completely empty this time, that's good. Whoops. I think we're still gonna need a second one, though. Imagine having to tear apart each individual cylinder for that. For which one? That V16 or V12. Oh, yeah. So, sometimes, um... You can't take, I've discovered, you can't get it all the way down to where you can get to the crankshaft and the uh, the piston rods, but you can take the individual pistons themselves off in the rings. You can get it down to that, but apparently you can't go completely all the way, which is odd to me. I, I find that strange, but... All right, coolants refilled. I Now, put down you. Oops. There we go. All right, let's move the ladder over here. And we're gonna take this prop apart. So we gotta get that little guy, and then there's these three. There's our problem right there. And we're gonna take this off just to make sure that's the only thing. Probably. Propeller shaft, oops. Propeller shaft is fine. Propeller, pe oh, pitch governor's damaged, that makes sense. Oops. No. Calm yourself. Wait, what else am I... Oh, do I have to take... Yeah, I do. Ah, oh, dang it. Okay. Gotta take off all of this. I love when it yells at you, though. It's just hilarious to me. No! Okay, so I think you have to take it off, this thing off from, yeah, it's these screws that connect it right there on either side. There we go. Alright, 
let's see if we've got anything else we need to worry about here. Gear wheel's fine. Okay. So I think we're good there. I think it's just that governor and the uh, the other thing. So let's see if any of that stuff we can fix. I don't know what it is, but we'll find out. Oh, we can do the, the pitch governor, so that's cool. Oh, crap. Part restored, all right. And then the other thing we're gonna have to get out of the truck, distributor valve. What's that thing was called? All right, put the cover back on there. Propeller blade assembly. Big giant nut there in the middle. And distributor valve. The dome. And the spinner. Finicky. What was that? Said those Merlins are little finicky engines. Mm hmm. So we should be good with that. We gotta do the gun port patches. Oh, we did the coolant. And rearm the machine guns. So let's go ahead and take our gun patches off. think we need you anymore. I'm gonna put you over there. Let's see if I can do this without opening the top first. I don't know that I can, but we're gonna try it. Hey, I hit 402. Woohoo! After I was like up at like 425. <laughs>
think I'm at the one where you passed your 500 mark. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm about... Alright, left wing done, just gotta do the right wing. Four more bucks of ammo, actually. Yeah, I think we're out of focus for a second. <laughs> That's weird. Oh, don't forget about this guy. All right, come up here and load the breaches. to inspect the whole aircraft and I don't know how much time. Oh, that's that one I think they uh, did. That was evil. Which ones do you know that I need to check? You have to go all the way into the cylinders. It's like a push rod or something in there. So... I honestly right now do not feel like it. <laughs> It's all loaded up, gun port patches are done, rearm the machine guns is done, aircraft's good to fly. Oh Honestly, wow. I'm just gonna sign it without doing anything. The next level up is a corporal 2500, so I gotta go a thousand points now, dang. Wonder that's I wonder if that's where we get up to a multi-engine. That could be cool. Another engagement with enemy escort. Sent some of them to the ground. By the way, check the tail wheel. I almost crashed on landing. And CO thinks I'm tired. Replacing it will assure him I'm alright. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> so I just made a huge Oh you guys are so basically, he's saying that the tail wheel isn't necessarily the problem, but we'll just replace it so it makes me look better, makes the pilot look better for almost crashing. Interesting. Go ahead, Kramer, what were you saying? I made a huge mistake. 
What'd you do? So I didn't really expect the other round. The pilot died, and I lost 10,000 of the things. Oh! You should probably replay that episode, not go on with that. <laughs> oh, you go into the negatives. Yeah, that. Oh, dang. Yeesh. That's a. That's like court martial right there. Jeepers. I have a little trick that'll help me out with that. Gotcha. Hey, David, uh, if you're not getting sound out of uh, out of uh, Twitch, um, check your um, check the little audio icon in the corner there. Most a lot of times that gets muted, and you just don't realize it. Uh, check tail wheel. Replace all gun port badges. Refuel the aircraft. Free on the machine guns and replace the gun camera tape. Okay. So let's do that tail wheel first. We're going on negative seventeen hundred. Holy crap. I don't want you fixing my planes. <laughs> Alright, tail wheel. Let's see. Are you really damaged? Okay. Fine. I suppose. There's negative three thousand. Negative three wait, what do you do you keep doing it over and over again or something? What are you doing? You trying to see if you no, get yourself I fired? Lost, yeah, I got negative ten thousand points on the thing. Oh, oh I see, okay. Alright, so we need a new wheel. Tail wheel. Final results. Negative 14,914. Oh my gosh. Ow. Ouch, indeed. I was correct. Alright, got that. Let's uh, refuel the aircraft right quickly. Sound working there, David? Ah, no. I wanted to climb the ladder, you doofus. Fuel the aircraft, replace the gun port patches, check the tail wheel, gun camera tape. That's this guy right here. Okay, gun camera tape. Rearm the guns. Alright, here we go again.
feel like this game is kind of getting a little repetitive. It does a little bit for a little bit, and then then suddenly they'll throw in something else at you that you haven't done before. But you got to kind of suffer through the repetitiveness of it before you can do that. Oh, I guess I don't have to open that one. Okay, that's good. Enough. I'm going to go down and get a snack. Okay. No, 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 no. I need to go down and check that now. Yep, there we go. <laughs> that would have that would have bit me in the butt if I hadn't done that. focus thing you got. Booyah. Oops. Slowly moving on up. Toward Corporal. All right, check the oil filter, refuel the oil, refill the oil, and refuel the aircraft. No contacts this time. Just refuel the thing and check the oil and make sure you're done by 12 o'clock. We're on a scramble this afternoon. Oh, okay, so we got a time limit. All right. Time limit. All right, 
we do, we do quickly. Okay, that's a fuel filter. I think the oil filter's on the other side. Oh no, there's an oil filter right there, okay. Well, we know it's damaged, okay. Taking it off, I think there's a... Oh, it's that guy right there. There we go, nice and simple. Can we repair that? Yeah. Yeah. Fuel filters back in. Right, the oil bows are over. Sean McConnell coming in with the Twitch Prime subscription. Thank you, sir. Welcome aboard. Good to see you, Sean. Uh, yeah, you come over here. I think that was everything. Refuel, refill, and check. Yep. Booyah. 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 I'd be so paranoid trying to fix the plane having all the other planes flying over. Sean McConnell, good job with that Switch Prime subscription. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you caught it or not, I just, I just now looked over and saw it. Oh, you heard me just call it out like five seconds ago? I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Obviously. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yet another fight with 109s, ME 109s, Mesher Smiths. Right after a few rounds, all of the guns stopped firing. Oh, nice. I had to run and got hit a few times in the process. Also, the flaps didn't want to deploy. Please fix the problem for my next flight. Wow, okay. So, place the gun port, replace all the gun port patches, fix the problem with the guns not firing, refuel the aircraft, patch all the bullet holes, and rearm the machine guns. Okay. 
Apparently, we don't care about the flaps, so that's one thing. Oh, we got a got a time limit. All right. Welcome back. Okay, that's the uh, gun port patches. Fix the problem with the guns. All right, so we got to find out what the problem with the guns are. Machine gun itself is fine. Uh, ejection chute is fine. They said all the guns stopped firing, so why would any one of the guns be... Okay. I'm a little confused by that, actually. Can the ammo boxes... Oh, well that ammo box is empty. So is that one. Well that would be a problem. Okay. <laughs> that's not a gun stopped firing issue, that's a you just ran out of ammo. So it's probably the issue with this one too then, right? Yeah, the gun's fine. Empty. Empty, yep. Okay, so the guns on this side are all fine. They just need ammo. I don't know why the guns just all stopped firing. Well, when you fire all the ammo away, then that's going to happen. It's not unlimited. Okay, that's just freaking itself out. Okay, whatever. Whatever. We also got some holes over here you can see. So two. holes in this side. Oh, we got some holes over here.
any holes. Oh, yeah, I got holes all over the place. Strafed good. Sheesh. All right, we gotta check and see if there's any holes underneath, too, because. Sometimes they go through. Uh, doesn't look like it, at least not on that side. Over here, no. Yeah, so I think we're good. Alright, so holes be taken care of. Let's go ahead and uh, load up the guns here. Left side is done. Let's, uh, well, we're gonna want to inspect the guns anyway, so let's just make sure. Yeah, that one's fine. Sure, this one is too then. want to know something strange I bought this game yesterday for full price no sale <laughs> well it wasn't that much more for full price though did you not uh, did you not see the in your uh, tw in your steam uh, mail thing whatever that there was a 50% off I think you had to apply that maybe I don't know I don't know how that works or maybe it only came to certain people I don't know I honestly don't know. Maybe I had it because I already had Car Mechanic Simulator. I don't know. Because I do have that. All right, running out of time here. I gotta get this done make it into the time limit here. Uh, 
Five minutes left. What's left to do? We did the guns not firing, we patched the bullet holes, we rearmed the machine guns, and so just refuel the aircraft, okay. Yeah, so maybe that's the difference. Kramer, do you have a... Uh... Oh, Kramer's gone. Well, or he's muted. Because I don't remember if Kramer got it with the discount or not. Because maybe that was the difference. Maybe you had to have a... Uh... Pay for your new sim. <laughs> what new sim? My sim is... And you should spend your... Uh... You should work on your own sim there, Kramer. Don't, don't give me all your money. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'll take it, but <laughs> I'm not I am not in desperate need. It's a nice uh, it's a nice bonus, but I'm not in desperate need. I do make a decent living. I don't uh, I don't do this for the money. The money's a nice little side uh, thing, but I do this for the the companionship. Uh, isn't it plane mechanics? Yeah, this is, but we're saying we had car mechanic simulator already. And so I'm wondering if that's how come we got the 50% discount thing because we already had a product that the company had. Because it's the same people that made Car Mechanic Simulator that made this. Okay, so help me if that wasn't the problem with the guns because I checked the guns and... They were fine! You dirty rat. Okay. And because of a major malfunction. Yeah. Alright, we're gonna do that again. I'm gonna figure out what the heck's going on. What the stupid thing. Yeah, I know Kramer isn't in chat. Kramer Kramer stepped away or something. Because he's muted on TeamSpeak. Yeah, I get it, okay. Were we supposed to clean it? I wonder if that was the one time it'll let me because it doesn't always let me do it. It's not letting me do it this time either. I can't clean them out. What more is there to do with them? I don't get it. Should I just replace them? I mean, I suppose I could. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I just had an epiphany. I don't know what this thing does, but maybe this is the problem. It's the gun camera. I wonder. Oh, the shell's fine. No? Shouldn't be that. The guns are okay. I don't get it. Did you check under the wings for a gun problem? Yeah. And there were no there were no issues that I could find. I mean, aside from just pulling the gun out anyway, even though it says it's fine. Oh, trigger hose. I forgot about that. Oh, that's it. That's got to be it. Wait, is that even a thing I can do? Well, the trigger hose there is fine. Okay. Is there a master trigger hose somewhere that I'm not aware of? 
Because he said all the guns stopped firing. I'm trying to see if there's more of these things that I can get into here. Ah. I can't do anything in the cockpit from what I'm, I'm from what I understand. Man, that's just engine cowling. Let me see if the the trigger hose is visible in here. Look like it. No. It's all just engine stuff. Maybe above the engine? Yeah, maybe. I mean above the You mean up here? I don't I can't see why. Missing a bolt or something. That supercharger. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. I mean, it should go from the cockpit to the gun, so if anything, it should be back there. Let me look on top of the. Let me open up the top of the guns here and just see if there's. Anything obvious. Because the breach cover, ejection suit, shoot, the gun itself, machine gun trigger hose. I mean, there's nothing else. It's those three things that make up the gun. And the trigger hose goes back that way somewhere where I can't get to. Oh, shut up. Ten minutes left. Graduated to flight lieutenant yet? Um, yeah, what am I at right now? Does it even say? Uh, it does not say what I am. I don't know. <laughs> I graduated to something. I'm, I've got 2,500 to get to the next thing. But I can't figure out why these guns aren't firing. Unless... Does this have anything to do with it, I wonder? The suppressor? No. <laughs> it's the one thing I don't know what it does. Uh, yeah, aside from the ammo boxes just being empty, which we did that and that didn't solve the problem. Uh, let me check the other two here and just see, because maybe, maybe if one trigger hose goes bad, they all go bad? I don't know. It's worth a shot. That one's fine. That one's fine. Hey, what's going on here? Why am I stuck? I don't know why I got stuck. Somehow I got stuck. Okay. That one's okay. If this trigger hose is fine, then it's not the trigger hoses. Because they're all okay. Yeah. Machine gun's fine. Machine gun's fine. Machine gun's fine. Yeah, all the guns are fine. The guns are fine. The trigger hoses are fine. There's nothing else that I can think of that would be... 
Um, you would think, but I can't. I can't seem to get to anything in the cockpit. So um, there's nothing to interact with, really. So at least not that I've ever been able to. Supercharger. Yeah, see, there's the the button, I guess, if you were. But yeah, there's nothing nothing to interact with in the cockpit. The bottom, the but yeah, I know. I, I did. I hovered over it though. I can't interact, interface with it. I just don't get what else it could, where else I could be looking here. This thing, I can. Uh, hey, you know what? Hang on. No, I know the radiator's fine. I don't care. Let's pull the radiator cover off. Never been in here before, so I don't know what's under here. Well, I was wondering if maybe that got me access to a thing, but it does not appear to do that, so no, that doesn't seem to be the solution. can't get into anything here. Had to collect all the garbage. Where does it, wait, the button, is there, where does it go in? No, it doesn't, it doesn't go in the engine. They go into the wings, and then it's this trigger hose right here. See, it's coming from over here. So it doesn't go through the engine at all. It's possible, he said he got shot a whole bunch, and that, um, Maybe a bullet went through the hose, but it's not to any place where I can get to it. Like, see these guys here? Like, one of those guys could have easily taken out the trigger hose, but it's not anywhere where I can get to. I can't take any of this apart. So, I don't understand what I am to do. Yeah, five minutes left. What powers the hose, Professor? Oh, good point. I didn't think about that. Good point indeed. Okay, so now that leads us into the engine. Uh, let's see, what do we got here? Starboard, cylinder, block, assembly. That's a hydraulic pump, and that's air compressor. Oh my gosh, how much you want to bet? Look at that, fourth doctor coming in with the good thinking. I did not even think about that. That's got to be our guy. No. Okay. All right. You know what? Let me do this. I'm gonna, cause I'm gonna, we're we're gonna be out of time, so I'm gonna try and restart this here. I'm just gonna say we did it. Oh, I gotta put it back together. That that's the problem. You are a brilliant man. I don't want to wait to get my wife, yeah, right? Yeah, I didn't even think about air being part of that, that deal with the hose, so. Yeah, troubleshooting is normally my forte, so I'm actually kind of a little bit embarrassed that I didn't figure that out. <laughs> is that all back together? I gotta put all these things back on. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna conduct an experiment. Because it doesn't. Does it say to rearm the guns? Oh, it does. Okay, that's why. What's going on here? Good 
down. Missing now. Do I take stuff off the top? Oh, yeah, I did. Did you do that over here, too? No. There we go. Yeah, sure, I did all that. <laughs> So I might be able to join you tomorrow. Depends on traffic in Las Vegas. Are you are you in Las Vegas right now? Okay, now we know what we're doing. Stupid air compressor. All right. need to zoom way in. Button. Can I fix this? Yes, I can. Okay, so we got that. Let's go ahead and fix the bullet holes while we're here. Utah still, but gotta go through those. Oh, I got you. You guys got family in Utah there, Rothman? Is that all the uh, the bullet holes now? It appears to be.
go rearm the guns. Oh, wait, I don't need to take that one off. You take that. Chips to go. You know, that happens when I'm in really dry climates. I'll have to do that because otherwise my lips do the same thing. Then Blistex is my friend <laughs> if it happens. Alright, doing good on time. So David, do you have uh, do you have relatives in Utah? Is that why you're over there? see the message uh no what message <laughs> need to also got to go through las vegas home no the highway just goes straight through well no that's las vegas i'm talking about utah where you're currently at or did you send me a private message somewhere because i'm just confused
Oh, okay. That's cool. Alright. Alright, we replaced the gun port patch, we fixed the problem with the guns, we patched all the bullet holes, and we rearmed the machine guns, we just gotta refuel the aircraft. And I feel like I'm gonna need to sneeze. <laughs> I think we are good to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Five minutes left. So we refueled the aircraft. Alright, let's see what that does. Have you been drinking the fuel? <laughs> no. Uh... Oh man, that was a doozy. That was a doozy. Let's see what we got next. Holy moly. Uh, ugh, I hate rearming the gun machine guns. It takes forever. Engine power. Oh boy. This time we were up against a small group of bombers. No escorts, so we attacked. Got hit a few times, but managed to shoot down one and damage another. On... RGB noticed a oh, return something? I don't know. Notice a slight loss of power. Great. Okay, at least we don't have a time limit this time, so that's good. Loss of power. I can see. I don't. I can't. It doesn't look like any of those spark plugs on that side are bad. Let's check the other side. Return to base. Oh, return to base. Yeah, thank you. somewhere. Yeah, it could be so. Oh. Oh, we got something going on with the uh, ignition wires. Why are they showing? Why are the bolts showing red? Oh, the star magneto. That's what it is. Magneto's red. It's very lightly red. <laughs> okay, that's probably it. So starboard magneto is the other. Did the other magneto show that? No, port magneto is fine. All right, so the star magneto is a problem. Let's check the. Um, let's make sure the spark plugs up top are are good too. I don't want to miss something. to see in here without taking a whole bunch of stuff off but it looks like we're okay yeah I think it's just that magneto so I think that is
are. Can we fix the magneto? Yeah, we can. Got part restored. if they didn't encounter anybody, why am I rearming the guns? That's what I want to know. <laughs> Are you just shooting off rounds for funsies? The airplanes flying over sound really good. I know, right? Makes you want to be up in the air flying with them. Got some bullet holes, looks like. Okay, so they must have actually participated in a, a friendly dog fight, yeah. We'll shoot at each other for funsies. So they must have engaged someone, I must have misread it, because obviously he's shot up a little bit, so <laughs> clearly he wasn't uh, not in action. Oh, wait a minute, what did it say? This time we were up against a small group of bombers. No escort, so we attacked. Got hit a few times. Oh, okay. Alright, good deal. Alright, so by the way, we did the uh, engine power already. And, okay. And bullet holes got shot up. Some bullet holes over here. No. What is cool, guys, you'll notice, it's still got the patches from the last time I patched it up. So it like it's you're you're really working on the same aircraft over and over again until it gets shot down or he bails out or something. So it's kinda cool. It actually does kind of age with the, the guy. Spent the last two days in the inner workings of X Point Eleven tweaking setup and settings for weather for the gar oh nice. All right, so those are all open up now. You missed a hole. Where? What hole did I miss? In the fuselage. No, that's not a hole. That's that's where this antenna wire comes out of there. If that's what you're talking about. Yeah, they would light up red if I if I'd missed any. 
Yeah, there may be some under the wing here. Yeah, there are there are under wing ones. And he's got they got bullet holes all over the place. Checking for bullet holes. So no under the wing on this guy, okay. Alright. Hey, Baxter Cat, it's been a while. Saw that you had uh, followed on Twitch the other day. Welcome, welcome. This guy is getting shot down before the end of the day. <laughs> This has been a while. I see stream on Twitch and upload on YouTube now. This game is fun. Yeah, it is actually pretty fun. Um, yeah, I've been doing Twitch now since... Um, well, I started doing Twitch, I think, back in... Well, probably September or somewhere in there. October, August, September. Uh, and then I made affiliate on Twitch. And once that happened, I can't, I can't stream to YouTube as well. I can only... Uh, I either have to stream exclusively on YouTube at that point, <laughs> or um, I have to wait 24 hours because Twitch has uh, anything I stream on Twitch. Twitch has exclusive rights to for 24 hours, so it's part of the affiliate uh, protocol. He has more bullet holes than your trip to. <laughs> I don't know about that. Although that would be an interesting factor if we uh, throw in. Albuquerque and, and add the possibility of getting shot at while in Albuquerque. All 
Alright. Uh, let's get these guys off of here. Yeah, and back to the game's pretty cheap, too. I mean, it's early access, I think, still technically, so it's only like 10 bucks or something like that. 10, 15 bucks. So, yeah. For, for the price you pay, actually, it's pretty pretty uh, good deal if you ask me. And there's a lot more things you kind of have to do than in car mechanics simulator if you're familiar with that at all. So, which is kind of cool. Let's see, where are we at? We did the gun port patches, we've patched the bullet holes, we've rearmed the guns, we got the camera tape and refuel the aircraft. So the camera tape is here. I still don't know what the heck this does, but. I guess maybe it records when you shoot so they can see if you're shooting people down. I don't know. Uh, the tower controller has a 9mm machine gun ready when you come back. <laughs> Flight sim to mechanics. I need to play mechanics sim for us. See, that's Baxter Cat. That's what I'm hoping for. I'm hoping this leads to that because this is awesome. But can you imagine if they had this for jetliners? That would be super cool. I'd love to work on a jet engine with Play Mechanics Simulator. So if developers are watching, that's what we really would, would like. This is, a, this is a good step in the right direction. But that would be awesome. Gun camera. Yeah, I, I guess. I, it never would have occurred to me that they would have had that in the in World War II, but, but it says gun camera, so I don't know. Go figure. Fuel this sucker up. Alright, you're ready to go out and get shot at again. <laughs> A lot of videos the piece of team was being shot. Yeah, right? This is how they filmed the Memphis Bell, I guess. Like getting a job after the war. Yeah. Refuel the aircraft, replace the gun camera tape. All done. I think we are ready to go. Sign our life away. Let's see if we did everything right. Okay. Yes. What? I missed one. Ah, dang it. Okay, well, I'm just gonna let it go. Be carefully without with reduced performance. Uh, lame. Stupid. What bullet hole? I looked. I scoured. I think that's lame, but I'm not. I'm not doing that all again just for one stupid bullet hole. I'm sure that's what it was. I'll take I'll take the hit. I'll take the hit. All right, I think this is going to be our last one for the night, and then I'm going to have to figure out food. Uh, refill the coolant. Refuel the aircraft. Set up the radio. Refill the oil and harmonize the machine guns. All right. Now, Peter, I heard he was a good pilot. Oh. Oh, my pilot died. Oh, dang. <laughs> Because it was Peter something or other. Anyway, there's no time to mourn. Make sure that you play. Hope that wasn't because of the bullet hole. 
Make sure the new plane is ready for combat. I have a, spit f a sortie plan for one o'clock. All right. Holy crap. That sucks. All right. Well, let's uh, let's start with the coolant. Get that done first. Apparently, it's probably my fault too. Killed a man just to watch him die. Put that over there. Has anyone seen the show, TV show Twelve O'clock High? No. Sounds interesting, though. Put the can down. Coolant's done. Uh, refuel the aircraft. All right, let's do that while we get the ladder out. They had the movie, but they made a TV show. It features 17 B-70 bombers in action and follows the Silver Bomber Squadron. Then they killed off the main character and ruined it. <laughs> is that an older show, or is it a is it like? the aircraft, uh, refill the oil, oh. bring the oil bows are over. Yeah, pretty old. Not sure from when those black and white. Okay, yeah, so yeah, quite a bit. Pretty old, yeah. The oil in there. Fill up the oil. Not sure how this thing ran completely bone dry, but okay.
refill, oops, nope, refill the oil. Set up the radio. Always fun. There we go. Sound is menacing, I know, right? All right, put the radio back. Radio is set up. Harmonize the machine guns. All right. So we got to get this guy out. Put him under the thing. Under the butt. I touched the butt. And pull out the harmonizing board. There we go. There it is sitting out there. And we're ready to harmonize. Helps to pull the tape off. There we go. Okay, put in the crosshairs. Good. Number one. This gun was really bad. <laughs> Alright. This 
swing is done. Let's put the patches back on. One more to do. Space launch tonight. First private launch to the moon. Seriously? There's a, they're sending one to the moon? I didn't even realize that. That's awesome. We haven't been to the moon since the Apollo missions, right? Private launch to the moon, you know what that means. Moon base gift shop. <laughs> That's for Israel. Really, Israel? All right, harmonized machine guns is done. Oh yeah. Eye in it. <laughs> you set up the radio, you. T you took the headphones off me. That tells me it's done, you jerk. I, I hate the radio thing because you just never really know. Gene Cernan was the last man. Got it. Uh, private company specifically launched the moon lander for a private Israel company. Oh, okay. Hey, Chris D, how you doing? I know I set the radio, so I don't know what the heck. The radio one is dumb, but whatever. Whatever. I hate the radio. <laughs> I hate the radio. We're not going to do this one, but... Oh, man. Check pistons and rings. Good grief. Yeah, this is a long one. Yeah, I need to go get food. So, we're going to say we're done for now. So, yeah. All right, guys. Thanks for coming along tomorrow. Okay, so some housekeeping things. So Saturday, again, is the challenge uh, line flight with uh, Captain Tim and whoever else wants to participate. Uh, 737 based. Uh, he's going to basically gonna give us... Uh, he's going to act as a dispatcher, and we have to do several flights throughout the day. And we're going to be graded on fuel efficiency and timing and other things like that. So sounds like most VFR pilots like the radio. <laughs> I don't mind the radio that way. I, I hate that radio, tuning it. This is ridiculous. Um, I'm going to post on Discord tonight before I go to bed uh, the uh, some of the rules and stuff so you guys can familiarize yourself. I'll, um, I'll tweet Instagram and uh, – uh, what do you call it? Tweet Instagram and Facebook uh, when those are posted so you guys can go check those out. 
tomorrow will be normal uh, Friday Night Ops. Uh, it's a uh, it's a uh, West Coast based uh, Southern California, so we'll be doing something revolving around LAX. I don't know what yet. I'll have to think about that and see what we want to do. But it's uh, for the Oscar night. That's the the focus is uh, LAX and LAX airport uh, area airports. Saturday we'll do the challenge thing. I gotta confirm with Captain Tim on the time. I think I want to start either at eight or nine Pacific. Um, so we'll see if that uh, can work with his schedule. And uh, if so, that's what we'll do. But again, I'll let you guys know for sure. So we will be starting earlier on Saturday than we would normally for standard Saturday ops. And it's not World Tour uh, this Saturday. It's going to be this uh, special challenge deal. So, yes, I did get the sim back functioning. I got um, uh, Active Sky was really great getting back to me pretty quickly and got it reactivated. It's been working fine. So I imagine I'll probably have the same problem again down the road, but we'll deal with that down the road, I guess. So <laughs> Whatever. Yeah. My new yoke's arriving tomorrow. Nice. The new Satek? Yeah. Nice. Awesome, man. So that's the plan. Um, if you have any questions, you can hit, hit up Discord. Um, feel free to tweet me, Facebook me, Instagram me, whatever. Um, I do check that. So that's how it's going to work. You guys have a wonderful Western Thursday night. We'll see you guys tomorrow evening for Friday Night Ops in Los Angeles. This music behind me is super epic. I love it. <laughs> and I will see you guys all tomorrow. Have a wonderful day. Night. Night, guys. Oh, quick question from Baxter Cat. Sorry, I'll wait. I was going to hope to end with that heavy music, but I'll get one more second. Why are you called Moose Stop? Well, I'm not called Moose Stoffer. Let's be very clear. <laughs> Fly moose. So, Flying Moose was taken on Twitch. That's why. I mean, the, that's the short answer. So, I'm still the Flying Moose. Um, I just have another moniker, if you will, and that is Mustafa, which is a nickname I've had as it is anyway, and I use that for a lot of things. So, Mustafa, the Flying Moose, it's all it's all one and the same as far as I'm concerned. But, um, but yeah, the Twitch channel name had to be Mustafa because the Flying Moose was taken. And uh, so, that that's that's what it is. So, so yeah. So you can call me Mustafa, you can call me the Flying Moose, you can call me Moose, you can call me Hey You. I uh, respond to all of those things. <laughs> so, <laughs> all right, there you go. Wonderful guys, see you. Thanks again for those of you that uh, hit that subscribe button tonight. Uh, thank you for the support. I really appreciate it. And yeah, it's Mustafa. Now you know. And uh, and I will see you guys all tomorrow evening. Have a wonderful night.